So in our video today, we're going to be talking about mitosis. Mitosis is a type of cell division that results in two daughter cells, each having the same number and kind of chromosomes as the parent nucleus, typical of ordinary tissue growth. First up is interphase. Interphase is basically the stage where the cell spends the majority of its life. In this stage, the cell is preparing to reproduce. Cytoplasm and protein is produced more than any other stage. Cytoplasm is a gel-like substance found in the cell membrane. Next up is prophase. In prophase, it separates the duplicated genetic material from the nucleus of, the, of a parent cell, then splits into two identical daughter cells. The chromatin, which is the complex of the DNA and the protein in the nucleus, that condenses. The chromatin coils and compacts into what we see as chromosomes. Chromosomes carry the genetic information. Once the chromosomes are replicated, they come in the form of an X, which are called sister chromatins. Sister chromatins are a pair of identical copies of DNA joined together called the centrifuge. Then after the mitotic spindle forms, this structure is made up of a long protein called microtubules. That forms from both sides of the cell that pulls together, then the spindles are what help the sisters separate into two cells. Next is the prometaphase. Many other videos and websites do not mention this phase, but this phase is very important. This is the step where the duplicated genetic information carries in the nucleus of the parent into the two daughter cells. The barrier of this nucleus, called the nuclear envelope, breaks down, which separates the chromatids, but still isn't completely free. This step is vital because this is the point where the nucleus materials divides into the two daughter cells. The development of the protein, called Kintachor, is around the centromere, which is the central joining point of the chromatids. Kintratora microtubules are long protein filaments that extend from the poles of both sides and attach to each other. Now we're on metaphase. Metaphase is a step where the duplicated ge genetic energy separates. The information from the parent cell travels to the two daughter cells at this time, the cell's chromosomes line themselves in an orderly fashion towards the center of the cell. It's kind of like a tug of war. Kintachora microtubules pull the sister chromatids back and forth until, until they reach the equatorial plane, then get the metaphase checkpoint where the cell is establishing is functioning way it's supposed to. Now the cell is ready to divide. Now we're at anaphase. The chromosomes are separated into two chromosomes that are identical and independent. The mitotic spindles separate the chromosomes. The pulling motions continue and finish up in mitosis at anaphase. Anaphase is assured that both cells will have identical chromosomes to go to the next step and continue to split. Now, finally, we're at telophase, but telophase isn't the end of the cell division process. In telophase, a nuclear membrane is formed for each chromosome to separate the nuclear DNA from the cytoplasm. The chromosomes begin to diffuse, which makes them compacted. Then the chromosomes begin to uncoil. Last but not least, we're at cytokinesis. Cytokinesis divides the cytoplasm from the parent cell into the daughter cells. At this step, cytokinesis performs a process that separates the cell in half to make sure both cells have everything they need. Kind of like an anaphase, but this is just the last checkpoint. And there you have it. From mitosis, you have two separate cells, which continue to make that process to expand